What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jordan coming at you with another video. This the hold on, bro. This story time is freaking lit, y'all. Siri, is this story time about to be lit? The video may be lit, but you need to lit your barber on fire no. for fucking you up, pussy boy. This story time is about to be lit, y'all. So I want you to leave a like right now. Let me get 5,000 likes, y'all. 5,000 likes if I can get that. 5,000 likes on this video. Leave a like right now. Subscribe if you are new. Anyways, okay, okay. Basically, this story time is about the time. This girl, bro, this, she had the audacity, my nigga, the audacity to lace me, bro, on my first Tinder date with her. It was a random ass girl. I met her on Tinder, bro, and she laced me with some weed, bro, and I was tripping the f out, bro. I was tripping out, bro. This story time about to be hella freaking lit, y'all. Uh, leave a like right, leave a like right now, my nigga. So basically, four to five months ago is the first time I ever smoked weed, ever touched weed in my life, y'all, my nigga. So basically, me and my friends, you know, we just we just wanted to smoke a little bit of weed, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, fuck it, let's try it. I wanted to try it too, so I just said, fuck it, let's try it. So I smoked this shit, but I never got high, you know what I'm saying? The first time I didn't get high, I think I inhaled wrong or some shit, but I didn't get high. I didn't even, I didn't feel different, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't get high. The second time I tried it, it was with like four niggas and, you know, I was hogging the blunt, my nigga. I was a fiend, my nigga. That's what I made. I'm a fiend, my nigga. That's why I made that shit, bro. Because I was literally a fiend, my nigga. I was a fiend for that weed, my nigga. So, you know, I was... I was hogging that blunt, but I still did not get high. So, I think I was inhaling wrong or some shit. I don't know what was happening, bro. That was some... That, that weed was... That that weed was trash, bro. It was trash. I wasn't feeling different, my nigga. So that weed was trash. I never really got high. So basically, that's the backstory. I smoked two times before this incident, and I never got high before. You know what I'm saying? I never got high. But now I actually know what being high is. I know I know what being stoned is, cause like I I I I've been smoking like I've been smoking like recently. You know what I'm saying? Like a month ago or something. I've been smoking heavy. So you know I know what stoned is and shit. Like I was I I I've been stoned out of my mind. I know the feeling. I know the difference, my nigga. So don't. Don't say I wasn't laced, bro. Do not say that shit. Get, get, get out of here with that shit, my nigga. I am not lying, my nigga. This is 100% facts on my mama, nigga. So basically, it's this app called Tinder. It is a dating website, my nigga. So, you know, I be on Tinder. You guys probably see my pranks when I prank girls on my Tinder and shit. I used to prank girls on Tinder and shit. But, you know, I don't take I don't take Tinder serious. I don't take Tinder serious. I, I'm not even looking for a relationship right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even looking for a relationship. So, basically, I don't take Tinder serious at all. So, you know, I just go in there and I troll. This is literally what I do, my nigga. I go on Tinder and I keep swiping right. I like all of the girls. Even if they ugly, my nigga, I like all of the girls. I just like everybody. Like, you're not special if I like you. You're not special, my nigga. You're not special. So basically, I ended up matching with this girl. Basically, it was this girl named Bailey. It was this white country ass girl. Country girl. Like, I, like hillbilly country ass girl, my nigga. And she hit me up saying, hey, with the heart eyes. So, you know, I was just like, hey, what's up? We just started talking and shit. I got to know her and shit, and she actually went to my college. Like, we went to the same college and shit, but I didn't even know. I never seen her before, but we went to the same college. You know, we keep texting and shit, and it was like off and on type shit. Like, like one week, I, one week she would text me and shit, and then we would stop texting for our week. And then, like, next month, she would text me again, and we would start talking again. It was kind of like on and off. Like, it wasn't, it was nothing serious. I was not even into this girl. No cap, my nigga. I did not think she was good looking, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm no cap, no cap. I was just texting her. I was, I'm a nice guy, my nigga. I'm a nice guy. Like, if you're gonna text me, like, why not text back? And this girl has some weed, you know what I'm saying? She has some weed, and you know, I was fiending back then. I was fiending and shit. So she said she has some weed and shit, and she was like, let's meet up and shit. So I don't even know this girl, you know, I haven't FaceTimed her. I barely texted her, you know what I'm saying? I barely really got to know her and shit. I only saw like three pictures of her, my nigga. So, I was, it was kind of sketchy. The whole scenery, the whole thing was sketchy, my nigga. So basically, we were texting and stuff, and we planned to meet up and smoke. You know what I'm saying? We planned to meet up and smoke. She was going to bring her weed. That's what she said. She said she was going to bring her weed. And yeah, we were just supposed to meet up. So she sent me the address. It was basically like, it was kind of like a forest, my nigga. It was like a, it was like a forest, but it had a parking lot. And it was like, it was so secluded. Like, I I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, my nigga, this shit was hella sketch. I'm not going front. It was kind of like a date, you know what I'm saying? We were meeting up, smoking, chilling, and talking and shit. It was kind of like a date. It was a little kickback and shit in her car, you know what I'm saying? We were just going to chill in her car and smoke. So, you know, 
I pulled up to like the forest area and that shit was hella sketch, my nigga. And I'm a virgin ass nigga. See, listen, listen here, listen here, listen here. I don't talk to girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm a shy ass nigga. And I'm not even trying to flex like I get all these bitches or anything. I'm being honest with y'all. No cap, 100%. I'm being 100 with y'all niggas. I do not get bitches, my nigga. I do not get girls. I do not get girls, all right? These girls do not love me. I do not talk to girls. I'm not going to go up to girls and talk to them because I'm a shy ass nigga. And girls don't talk to me. I don't know. They just don't talk to me. So that's basically my life story. You know what I'm saying? I never really talk to girls. I don't really talk to anybody, really. I have three friends. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all niggas already know in my other story times that I do not talk to these females, my nigga. I don't. I don't. And I'm not even looking for a relationship. So, like, I just showed up because I just wanted to show up. And low key, I'm going to keep it a hundred. Low key. I was kind of scared, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a shy, awkward-ass nigga, so I was kind of, like, scared, like, damn, this shit's about to be hella awkward because I do not know this girl, and I know nothing about this girl, and I'm just showing up out the cut, you know what I'm saying? This shit was kind of, it was sketchy, and it was it was late at night, like, i say it was, like, 11 p.m., 10 to 11 p.m., and we just showed up to like kind of this park area. It was it was basically a forest with a parking lot. So basically, I got in my car, I drove like 30 minutes away, and you know, I pulled up to the area, bro. I got out of my car and I hopped in her car, y'all. So now I am in her car, my nigga. She's right here. I'm right here, my nigga. And you know, we just start talking and shit. She starts telling me stories and shit. And I didn't I never heard this girl speak before. So, like, I'm not, no cap, y'all. I never heard this girl speak in my life. So, when she first spoke, I was like, I was so like, whoa. Because this bitch was a country-ass girl, bro. She was a country-ass girl. Like, her accent, like, she had an accent. She had one of those, like, country kind of accents. And I was kind of, I was caught off guard. I was like, hold on. It was kind of getting a little bit awkward. So, I was like, you got the, you got the weed and shit. And. And, and this is my first note. This is my first warning. After she said this, I, I should have just left. I should have left. This girl said, yeah, I got the weed. I just stole it from my ex-boyfriend. Hold on, bro. She said she stole the weed from her ex-boyfriend. So she don't even know what strain it is because there is a lot of strains of weed. She don't know what strain it is. She don't know if it's lace. She don't know nothing about it. And after that, this is what she said. She said, smell this weed. It smells different, right? I smell, I smell that joint. It smells nothing like weed. It didn't smell like weed at all, my nigga. It didn't smell like weed, it smelled weird. It did not smell like weed at all. And it had, it looked weird. And it, it was like in a little bowl. Like it was one of those bowl things. It was like a pipe. It was a little pipe. It was, it was a little pipe. It was a little, I'll, I'll pop it on the screen. It was a little pipe, you know what I'm saying? It was a little pipe and she had like two grams of weed. Two grams of weed, y'all. And if you don't know what a gram, I mean, that's, a, that's kind of a lot of weed, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of weed, my nigga. That's a lot of weed. I'm not even used to like smoking a lot of weed and shit. And I don't know how much I'm supposed to smoke, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how much I'm supposed to smoke. She has to light the weed for me and then I have to smoke it. It was kind of weird. It was kind of like awkward and shit. Cause I was like, damn, can you, can you light it for me? Cause I didn't know how to use a lighter, my nigga. I did not know how to use a lighter, bruh. So basically she was lighting that shit for me and I was smoking that shit. And you know, she was just telling me stories and shit. And you know, we just kept smoking and, and smoking and smoking. And by the way, when we were lighting it up, like it made this sound, like it was weird. It was like a popping sound. It was like, It was weird as hell, bro. I was like, what is that? She was like, I don't know. I don't, she said, I don't know. So I was like, I don't know either. So, you know, we were just taking turns, you know, she smoked and then I smoked and then she smoked. But each time I smoked, she kind of helped me smoke because I didn't know how to cut the lighter on. We just kept smoking and she told me different stories and shit. And I just kept smoking because I didn't know how many hits I was supposed to take. So no cap, 100%. I'm telling you, this is fast. I took about, I took about like 30 hits, like no cap, I took like 30 hits, and it was out of like a pipe, and I heard pipes get you higher, so I was taking, I took 30 hits, and we smoked like 2 grams, 2 people, 2 grams, I smoked more than she did, like I smoked way more than she did, I just kept going, and going, and going, because low key, low key, I kept smoking because, I, like I'm an awkward ass nigga, so I was trying to like, take the pressure off and shit, so I was just like, fuck it, I'ma just keep smoking, keep smoking, take the pressure off, keep smoking, keep smoking, so I kept smoking, my nigga, and she was done, she was, she was done smoking, it was just me, 
It was just me, and I was just hitting that joint. She was telling me stories and shit. So after about like 10 minutes of me constantly smoking, she said, you should, you should stop. You should stop. That's a little bit too much, my nigga. She told me after 10, hold on, my nigga, hold on. She told me after 10 minutes of me keep hitting, I was smoking too much. Like, hold on, bruh. She should have been told me this, bruh. Because I am a rookie, my nigga. I do not know. So basically, we finished smoking and shit. This shit was starting to kick in, you know what I'm saying, bruh. This shit was starting to kick in, bruh. I, I start moving. My head was going crazy, y'all. When I... When I say my head was going crazy, my nigga, I was like, what the f did I just get myself into, my nigga? And it, it wasn't even a regular high because I've been stoned before. I've been completely stoned out of my mind. It wasn't like this. It was on some, it was different. It was weird as f I was sweating. I was literally sweating and I was like, no cap. I started spazzing, my nigga. When I say spaz, I was like, the whole time, I was like, Couldn't stop shaking, my nigga. I was like, no cap, bro. I swear on my mama, nigga. She was like, are you good? She was like, she told me, she had the audacity to tell me, are you good? My nigga, no, I am not good. That is what I told her. And she was like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Calm down, calm down. And I was like, what is happening, y'all? What is happening? So after like 30 minutes passed of me just calm, I was shaking the whole time. The whole time I was there, I was shaking. So 30 minutes go by and you know, she keeps like talking to me and shit. And I was just like, okay, yeah. Keep going, keep telling me the stories, my nigga. Cause I didn't want to, this shit was weird, bro. It was hella weird, hella awkward, hella, Hella cringe. So this is what happened, y'all. This is kind of cringy. This is the cringy part, all right? So, you know, after we finished talking and stuff, she was like, so what do you want to do? And I'm over here like, I don't know. What do you want to do? In my head, low-key, low-key, I was thinking like, damn, this girl really, she really got me on some shit. Like, I think I'm laced. I think this is laced. Like, in my head, I knew there, this was not regular weed. I knew something was wrong with this weed, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, this is not regular shit. I knew this shit was not like this, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm also thinking like, damn, I'm a virgin ass nigga, y'all. I'm a virgin ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, this is what I asked her, bro. Uh, can I get some head? <laughs> Bruh, like, I don't know what I was thinking. So I asked her for some head, y'all. And you know, I'm a virgin ass nigga, so I never got head in my life. I never had sex before. Like, I I'm a virgin ass nigga. I'm, I'm not, I'm no cap. Like, I'm, I'm being 100 with, I'm being 100 with y'all niggas. I'm a virgin ass nigga. So, you know, I never had sex at that time. I never, I never got head. I never got anything. I never had, a, like, a, I never had a kiss. I had none of that shit before. So, I was like, can I get some head? And this girl was like, I don't do that on the first date. She said no, and that low-key hit my heart. Like, low-key, that made that shit so awkward. After I asked that question, and she said no, that shit got so awkward, y'all. Like, I just, oh my mama, that shit got so awkward. So I'm over here like, okay, what do you wanna do? This is the cringiest part right here, y'all. Cringiest part, get some popcorn right now, my nigga. Get some popcorn right now, my nigga. She grabs my she grabs my face like this. She grabs my face like this. Literally like, like this. She pulls me in and she starts kissing me. Oh, bruh, and I'm not trying to like, bruh, I'm not trying to be mean right now, my nigga. But this, this girl had the audacity to put her lips on my lips, my nigga. And I'm not attracted to this girl at all, my nigga, bruh. I, I couldn't leave because, you know, I was so off the shits. Like, I was literally off the shits, bruh. Like, I, I couldn't leave because I didn't even, I couldn't drive home. I couldn't even, I thought I was going to die. I really thought I was going to die. So, you know, I, I really wanted to stay with someone. So, we just start making out and shit. Making out and shit. And, you know, like... I grab her and she basically, she gets on top of me, bro. We just start making out and shit and you know, doing all that shit and shit. And like, I'm still like, I'm still off the shits, guys. Like I'm still off the shits, like shaking and shit hard as fuck. So you know, we're just making out and shit, making out, making out, making out. And then I was like, damn, she's making out with me and shit. Maybe this girl is gonna suck some dick. This is why I did 100%, like 100%. I whipped out my cat. I just whipped that. I just whipped that joint out. 
and this denied me again. She didn't. She denied me again, y'all. So after all that shit happened, she hopped off of me, and we just kept talking and shit. And she was like, "Damn, I have to go," and I was like, "Hold on." Cause like, like low key, I was still off the shits. Like I was literally off the shit. I didn't want to be alone. And she was like, I have to go. I wasn't talking that much because like, I was like, I was shaking my nigga. I was, I was really like, out, I was out of it. I was shaking, I was sweating. I was, I don't know what was happening to me. I really thought I was about to die. This girl drugged me and shit and she was trying to leave me alone. So, you know, I hop out the car. I'm still shaking my nigga. I go in my car. I just lay back, y'all. I lay back. So basically, I walk to my car, like shaking and shit, hard as fuck, sweating. I don't know what's going on. My mind is going crazy. I, I felt like I was about to black out. I did not, I really didn't know what was going on. I need to call the cops on her ass for real, for real. Like, this bitch put me through some fucking stress, bro. I got PTSD, my nigga. So basically, I, I hop in my car. I'm laying back, I call up my friends, cause my friends, you know, we always get on Skype and shit. So I call up all of my niggas, all three of my niggas. We get on Skype, I tell them the story and shit. And I was like, yo, I don't know if I can drive home and shit. So I, I just stayed on Skype with them for literally three hours, like three to four hours. But this shit wasn't dying down, my nigga. This shit was not dying down. So after three to four hours, it was like 4 a.m. My parents like, like, where you at? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I have to drive home, my nigga. So I was driving home and I was literally off the shits. I could have crashed, I could have died. This girl put me in danger, my nigga. So this story time is 100% true. Like, I'm being dead ass. It happened like four to five months ago. I know she's gonna watch this video. So Bailey, that's not your real name, but Bailey, don't talk to me again. I'm blocking your ass. And I know it, was not, it wasn't regular weed, y'all. It was not regular weed because if it, I know what being stoned is like. Like, like I, I've been smoking the past like three months, three to four months, like hard weed. So I know what, it, what it's like to be high as I should call the cops on her ass, for real, for real. The moral of the story is, don't go on Tinder with a country looking ass girl. You know what I'm saying? On some shit, like, I don't know what I was doing, bro. That's pretty much all for this video. Leave a like right now. Subscribe if you are new. Anyways, go follow my Instagram. It's a little drill. Go follow my Twitter. It's a little drill. Go follow my SoundCloud. It's a little drill. Go follow all that shit. It's a little drill, all right? Anyways, little drill out. Get, get. A trap, boom. I swear to God. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Fuck on me. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Fuck on me. Look at me. Yo, daddy's. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? Why do you, why do you nigga capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage?